Martin Zubamendi could be joining Liverpool for £50 million. In this video, we're going to break down if it's a good deal for Liverpool. And of course, Arna Slot, who uh, I think has gone a little bit under the radar, maybe because of the lack of transfer activity. We're, we're see, seeing less headlines about Liverpool in the last few weeks. He's obviously going around his business with the current squad, but it feels like Liverpool in the last few weeks have been very, very quiet on transfer activity, leaving things a little late. Um, and you have to be real and say that Arna Slot needs as much help as he can get to compete with Arsenal, who obviously made big additions to their squad already. Man City looks strong. Uh, and obviously even, even Chelsea, Spurs doing a little bit more business in Liverpool. Uh, and Liverpool did so well last season to get back into the Champions League. Obviously won a trophy under, under Jurgen Klopp. And they've given the reins to a very exciting manager, a, a very different manager philosophically in Arna Slot. And he needs reinforcements massively. So the Martins of Mendy deal is very, very exciting and interesting for a club that have basically done nothing so far this season. Let's just talk about the player as an overview. If he'll fit into the Liverpool system, in my opinion, and be a, a potentially good transfer. Uh, I saw it firsthand, Martins of Mendy, when he came on to replace a slightly injured Rodri at halftime. I think it was in Berlin in the Euros final. Um, obviously, his career spans far more than outplaying Gareth Southgate's midfield. Of course, he's, he's a very, very talented player. Played at Champions League knockout level with Sociedad last season. Of course, hundreds of games for uh, Sociedad, who have always been a top side in Spain. But the big one is, it always goes back to that final for me. Uh, when I've been looking at Martin Zubamendi, uh, kind of highlights and kind of the qualities that he brings. You can see it all against England. And we're talking about big midfielders for England. We're talking about Phil Foden dropping into that uh, midfield line. We're talking about Declan Rice. And at points, um, Zubamendi was smashing into tackles. He only lost the ball twice in 45 minutes. And these aren't normal 45 minutes of football. This is the, the biggest moment of his career. Uh, it's a, a, the kind of game he wasn't expected to play that much of because of Rodri's brilliance, of course. And he comes into that midfield and he was knocking the ball side to side. I was naive as an England fan, of course, as we all were, that Zubamendi would be a massive downgrade on Rodri. And he looked like Xabi Alonso. He was just, it was just a different kind of defensive midfielder, slightly smaller, uh, slightly nippier. His passing range, just as good as Rodri, in my opinion, in terms of uh, getting, you know, that lovely little, you know, what Spanish midfielders love to do is knocking it into a forward. They get the ball straight back and it kind of just, it, it pushes centre-backs in and out of positions and, and he can pass through the line so well. Um, there's a moment where he got away from John Stone so he can advance high uh, into the line as well and be and be uh, fluid. And obviously, Arna Slot will love that as well. So many times, Zubamendi was getting the ball off the centre-backs, demanding it off the centre-backs in a high-pressure moment uh, in, in a leading position against England. And on the half turn, turning through the gears, running with the ball, linking up play. Again, essentially 100% pass completion in 45 minutes. Uh, it was it was unbelievable. It was a very, very astute performance and uh, arguably uh, went right under the radar. We talk about it, England's failings and uh, so many other things in that final. Uh, Williams, of course, uh, so many other facets of that final. But Zubamendi was huge and I think he helped uh, alleviate the pressure that England did put Spain under. He was absolutely fantastic. So if you're a Liverpool fan, Liverpool fan watching it, I saw it first time in the stadium. This kid is unbelievable. And the age profile is fantastic. 25 years old. You know, in, in that kind of position, you could last for six, seven, eight years at the highest level. So on a financial level, it makes a lot of sense as well. £50 million is nothing in today's market. Look at Man City's, you know, Alvarez going for £80 million. A lot of, a lot of people slagging that off saying he's not, no, he's not worth that. A Champions League level international winning midfielder of the quality of Zubamendi. It's a complete no-brainer. We have to look at Liverpool as well. I think the FSG model under Jurgen Klopp was, was timid at points. They relied and leaned heavily on Jurgen Klopp's coaching ability and his ability to, to get you know great returns on fine margins. Players that came in last season, someone like Endo, I don't think he was good enough, but I think he covered over the cracks. Uh of a side that cashed in on Jordan Henderson, cashed in on, on Naby Keita, because they Chamberlain left, Fabinho left, so many midfielders left. They brought in and spent a lot of money on Sabozlai and McAllister. I don't think it's fair to really compare them to, to Zubamendi. I think they're completely different players positionally. I know McAllister obviously played that deep line role, 
I think people think Curtis Jones could have done that uh, as well for Liverpool last season. I just don't see any of them as def uh, deep line defensive playmakers. Uh, and obviously the one that is currently there is Endo. He's been linked to a move to Marseille with uh, De Zerbi. And that says everything you need to know. He's, he had a decent season. Don't get me wrong. I'm not slagging off Endo, but this is this is Liverpool we're talking about. This is this is Liverpool that um, wants to be challenging. Maybe not next season. Maybe, maybe not. You have to let me know in the comments down below. But I think it'd be a bit of a rush for Liverpool to challenge and really actually win the Premier League next season or the Champions League. But the following season, the season after that, and give Arna Slot the kind of project and time span that Jurgen Klopp got in his first few years at Liverpool. And Zubamendi would just be a massive, it'd be a wholesome kind of uh, gift to, to Arna Slot, the, a player that kind of would suit his style perfectly. It'd just be so suited. And it would make so much sense. And he seems like a hard-working, humble footballer that wants to bring other players into play as well. Obviously, there's going to be that connection to Xabi Alonso in terms of his play style, in terms of um, in terms of his club as well, and, and the kind of age category. Um, but it could be anyone. You, we could be talking about uh, maybe Bushkets. We could be talking about Marcos Senna on some level. Uh, there's so many players. You know, Ruiz as well was obviously fantastic for Spain in the last tournament. There's so many players of this quality that can can be deep lying they can be versatile they've got two feet and they can just play things simply i think massively uh, that liverpool uh, floundered a little bit uh, in big moments in the uh, europa league campaign uh, in the premier league campaign particularly i'm thinking when they lost in the uh, uh, the merseyside derby to everton i just remember thinking in that game it was so end to end it played into the adrenaline and the adventure that everton wanted and in high high level football you need to be able to control the game I think Jurgen Klopp got away from that at points he tried to address it with Thiago it didn't work because of injuries in my opinion he had one good season and I do think that the future of Liverpool if they want to be a side that are always challenging and not relying on maybe managerial genius a bit like how Man City have always been there or thereabouts to win the Premier League with Mancini Pellegrini it's kind of a system instilled in the club and I think Liverpool need to go to this kind of Arna slot system so if Arna slot leaves Possession-based football is still a part of Liverpool a little bit more than the Gagan Press kind of Jurgen Klopp system. That's not to say Jurgen Klopp didn't uh, get incredible possession stats out of Liverpool and, and Trent getting on the ball and, and so many other players were fantastic in midfield. But I always thought that Liverpool, even at their very best, were always exposed to turnover, always exposed to being a little bit too risk-friendly on the ball. And I think Zubamendi would absolutely uh, address that massively i think he'd make liverpool far more of a possession based side and it just makes sense i mean liverpool were going to spend 100 million pounds on caicedo this guy is miles above caicedo in terms of on the ball technical quality uh, they were going to spend 50 million pounds on lavia lavia a little bit more of that technical player obviously came from the man city academy as well i i, I really really like lavia and i hope that he can have a big season but Zuba mendy i think is ahead of those two midfielders i think he, i think he's ahead of enzo fernandez i even think he's ahead of Declan Rice in that kind of position. I don't think Declan Rice is as, as a true deep line playmaker like Zubamendi can be as well. And actually, you saw it in the England Spain game a little bit where Declan Rice, in immense pressure from the Spain midfield, could not find a way out. He wasn't helped by Southgate, of course, but um, I think the likes of look, Zubamendi's a little bit close to Jorginho, of course, Rodri as well. And that instantly takes Liverpool above the likes of Man United, above Chelsea, above Spurs. I think none of those sides have got the, the, a similar deep line playmaker like Zubamendi. Uh, and that could be a massive disadvantage to those club and, uh, clubs and a massive advantage to Liverpool as well. So I think Zubamendi is a huge transfer for Liverpool. They need something anyway. But if they can get someone that I think would fit the bill so massively and has already proven himself against English players, uh, it would be a massive move. £50 million, pounds, cheap in today's market as well. It just makes a lot of sense. You have to let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I'll see you very, very soon.